Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we have a test that Cynthia has provided for us. We and have it's indeed. level A1. A1, A2. A1, A2. Okay, so for beginners, for all right? Beginners. And I'm going to do the test. I haven't seen the questions. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. okay. Yeah, as you should be. As, as I should be. <laughs> okay. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Before we get into the test, if you like uh, chatting in Spanish, if you want to be with like-minded people, we have two Telegram groups that are going on at the moment. We actually have three. We, are, we have three. Exactly. We have three, yeah. Yes. But what we have is we have a chat group, okay, and there are hundreds of people there now, yeah, in the chat group, and we also have our channel. So what happens is if you, on Telegram, if you are in the channel group, you will get all the videos that we publish. Every Friday, we post them. And if you're in the chat group, you're, you're with lots and lots of people that you can chat away with. We've even got an audio chat group as well. We have we? the regular chat for people that want to type, and they prefer to type. And then we also have now the audio uh, chat, so the people that prefer to leave messages, like yeah. audio messages. Mm. And of course, we also have the chat for the socios. Yeah, exactly. and that's a private one. Yeah, that's a private that's one. That's a private for one for, those for the socios. Subscribers, yeah. Exactly. So, if you would like to join, we will put in the video information the links and just come and join us. It's free, and why not? Maybe. Can't work a bit of freeness. <laughs> okay, all right. Right, so now it, let's get into let's get it. Let's get down to the business. Uh, okay, so it's an ABC test, so you okay. choose multiple the multiple choice, yeah? Multiple choice. Ah, which is test. called tipo test. Tipo no? test, un test tipo test. <laughs> 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 okay, so. Um, you'll see the options, I'm sure you'll put them on the screen for them to choose. Sure. So, number one, número uno, mientras Laura, mm, Carlos, mm, A, bebió, comía, B, bebía, comía, C, bebías, comías. You can pause the video. Uh -huh. Pause, have a think about it if you need to. And Gordon, you are okay. my my student here. Okay, so uh, Carlos and Laura, Laura and Carlos. And Carlos. So they're third person, and there are two actions happening at the same time. So uh, we've got to go for imperfect. So that would be B, yeah? bebía, comía. Correcto, mm -hmm. correcto, muy bien. Opción B. Eh, and you've explained why because two actions happen. Two actions happen at the same time. Número yeah. dos. Me mm, ver las montañas por mi ventana. Mm -hmm. A gusta, B gustan, C gusto. Mm. Okay, so uh, the the trick you're trying to trick is by putting las montañas. I am indeed. So it's me gusta A. Muy yeah. bien. Because <laughs> when we add any any verb after gustar uh, is singular. The verbs are singular. So you always say me gusta and then the verb. It doesn't matter what comes afterwards, even if it's plural. It's always me gusta. Actually, that's one of the things that we talk about in our new book that's it, coming out soon. Exactly. Well, it doesn't matter what comes after the verb, you mean, the after verb. the verb. Absolutely. It doesn't matter. Exactly. You can say, uh, you know, I like to see 50 million mountains. It doesn't matter. Exactly. And it's it doesn't singular. matter if there are more than one verb. Mm -hmm. It's still a verb after the gustar, so it's gusta, yeah? Mm. Muy bien, and definitely not gusto. Because no. that would be a like, I Me like gusto myself. and I pleasing like myself to myself. And the mountains. And the mountains, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Número tres. A Diego mm, interesa ir con nosotros. Mm. A lo, B le, C nos. Okay, so... Because you can look because you the, I know, the I'm, answers I'm are, looking, yeah, the yeah. answers it are not me, here. <laughs> helps me if I look. Yeah. So because we've got a Diego, yeah. then that tells us who's receiving the the interesting, and so it's got to be le. The interest, you know. The interest, the interest yeah. The interesting. The interesting. Sounds yeah. a bit, yeah. Just, <laughs> the just, interest. Just the way it came out. <laughs> yeah, we know who's who's receiving the interesting. Yeah. So which one would you go for then? Le, B. Muy bien. Yeah, le. You can't use le. lo because the, when you use a. 
Le goes with a. Le a for an exchange. Yeah. Muy bien. Okay. Well, le goes with a, not necessarily explained, is a Diego, because it's a third person, then it would be le, because it would be a nosotros, sure, yeah, yeah. it would be nos. Sure, yeah? sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But le, when you see le, and then you see a, you know that the le is talking about the same person Eso. that has the a. It's exactly the same person. Eso yeah? es. Eh, número cuatro, question. Hay mm, banco por aquí? A, el, B, Nothing. C, un. Mm. Okay, so um, with I, you have to use un or una. Hay un banco por aquí. You can't say there is, there is, is there the bank around here. It doesn't make sense in English either, we wouldn't say it, so mm -hmm. you can't do it. Maybe. And we need a bank. We can't say is there a bank around here, just like in English. Muy bien, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Número 5. Queremos viajar a mm, Sevilla. El tren sale a mm, Madrid a mm, las 9. A. Por hacia A. B. A. Para desde C. A. D. A. The one that, the only one that fits all of them is C. So, queremos viajar a Sevilla, el tren sale de Madrid a las ocho. Yeah. A las nueve. A las nueve. Even, yeah. <laughs> I like to get there And early. that's why we miss some trains. I'll sometimes. get there early. One hour early. <laughs> Traveling with me is always an adventure. <laughs> It is. ¿A qué hora sale el tren a las nueve? A las ocho sale el tren. <laughs> I've just read it and I, got, I read it wrongly. Okay. All right. Okay, muy bien. All right. Eh, número 6. Hay muchos tipos de mm, pero mi mm, favorito es el gorrión. A. Pájaro, pájaro. B. Pájaros, pájaro. C. Pájaros, pájaros. Ok, on this one, hay muchos tipos de, de pájaro, pero mi pájaro favorito es el gorrión. Hay muchos tipos de pájaro, hay muchos tipos de pájaros, hay muchos tipos de pájaro. Pájaro, pájaro, ¿no? Which one do you go for? I would go, I would go for A. Wrong, this would be B. Hay muchos tipos de pájaros. Pájaros, tipos de pájaros. Of pero course, mi pájaro favorito es el of gorrión. Of course, it has to agree, tipos. I've got, always got a confusion, the same in English as well types of dog there are many types of dog yeah there are many types of dogs and i often say many types of dog so i think i've got a problem in both <laughs> maybe you have a problem, have a problem personal <laughs> in both in both languages so it would be okay b yeah me and mierda okay. um well you're not you're not failing it's only one honey out of out of ten well unless the rest are also wrong and then well, vamos we'll a have to consider <laughs> don't know if i I have to I'll hand pass. my certificate back in. <laughs> I'm going. Right. Número 7. ¿Dónde fuiste, César? Yo mm, a comprar el pan. A. Fui. B. Fue. C. Fuiste. Ok. So that one's going to be A. Muy bien. Fui. Exacto. When I'm talking about me. I use fui. That's how yes. I remember. And the, the amount of times uh, people, I've heard people saying fue yeah. for I, Absolutely. like so many Absolutely. times. So fui. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, número ocho. Mm. Los plátanos aún mm. mm, verdes. A. Está. B. Son. C. Están. So this one comes out in, in our book on ser and estar. Um, so it's going to be si están verdes. Because so we're talking about a process. We're talking about the process of change that, that the bananas go through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Perfecto, Orlan. Número 9. Yo soy mm, profesor de matemáticas. 
A, un, B, una, C, nothing. So I would go for C, nothing. Muy bien. So why? Because when you t unless you're qualifying what being a teacher is, like I'm a good teacher or I'm a bad teacher, whatever, we just we don't use the article. Yo soy profesor. And if even if you put de, it doesn't matter. The de separates from separates the two parts of the sentence. So yo soy profesor. Muy bien, perfecto. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Esta mañana mi hijo mm, un libro cuando su amigo mm, por teléfono. A ah, estaba leyendo, lo llamaba. B leyó, lo llamaba. C estaba leyendo, lo llamó. Okay. Mm, interesting. All right, so I would go for uh, C. Mm, mi hijo estaba leyendo y su amigo lo llamó. Okay, so why would you go for imperfect and preterite? Well, because of the way that the rule works, when you've got when you've got two actions happening at the same time, the background action goes into the imperfect. And then the action action of somebody calling, which is the shorter action, is in the preterite. Exactly, muy bien. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Pues eh, Gordon, has aprobado porque has sacado un 9, 9 de 10. Hay muchos un, un tipos de preguntas. Hay muchos tipos de preguntas aquí. Muy bien, pues, ¿qué tal vosotros? Mm. ¿Habéis sacado un 10? ¿Habéis sacado más nota que Gordon? <risa> Por favor, ponedlo en los comentarios. Qué cruel, qué cruel <risa> es. Well, sí. so, this is the test for A1, A2. Uh, I have to say that some questions can be tough, you know? Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. difficult, some of them. Mm. Uh, particularly when we get into the preterite imperfect, because that's heading to intermediate, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah so yeah. this is for like beginner pre-intermediate, mm -hmm. but the uh, questions can lead to intermediate okay. in, yeah, some, uh, exactly. in some instances. Pues muchas gracias, Muy bien, Cynthia. a ti, Gordon. And remember, come and join the chat. Come and join the chat in the channel. All the information's in the video information. Entonces, ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.